It's a campaign with a simple message, Buy NJ. Launched by the State Chamber of Commerce, the campaign urges residents and businesses to buy goods and services from small businesses in New Jersey to help the state's economic recovery succeed. The chamber's Tom Bracken, a member of NJTV's board, points out small businesses employ 1.8 million residents in the state. It's a very significant number of companies, a very significant number of employees, and obviously the more business people can get and the more profit they can generate, help them recover, uh, the better chance they have of retaining those employees on their, on their staffs. As unemployed residents wait to be called back to work, many will get some additional money to tide them over until then. The state Labor Department has begun reviewing claims of those workers who have exhausted their unemployment benefits to see if they are now eligible for a 13-week extension. Workers who are eligible will be notified by email or text. And the department is urging all residents to review the online guides made available on its website to make sure they are answering certification questions correctly. The department says each week tens of thousands of residents are making mistakes when they answer those questions and those errors result in a delay of payment. Tomorrow we get the latest unemployment numbers. Governor Murphy hasn't given up on his idea for emergency borrowing powers to get the state through its cash crunch. As NJ Spotlight's John Reitmeyer tells us, the Murphy administration has looked to outside help to work on that borrowing proposal. From public records that I was able to get, uh, the Murphy administration has been using some pretty experienced bond counsel to work on this proposal. And so even though lawmakers have raised some questions about it, Clearly, um, the administration is getting advice from bond attorneys outside of the administration with decades of experience, 20, 30 years in some cases. For more, go to njspotlight.com. New Brunswick-based Johnson & Johnson says it will stop selling baby powder in the U.S. and Canada. J&J &J had faced thousands of lawsuits from those who alleged baby powder caused their cancer. That's something J&J &J denies. On Wall Street, here's a look at how stocks are trading. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. New Jersey American Water, providing water and wastewater services to keep life flowing for more than 190 communities throughout New Jersey.